Hi there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is New Vegas, episode 6. Alright. Now, uh, moving right along, when we left off, we had just annihilated a bunch of powder gangers that were going to attack Good Springs. So, good on us, right? <laughs> That's, uh, we're gonna move on with our main quest. Uh, quest. More like a m vendetta. And, uh, be doing the They Went That Away. Where we have to head to Prim to figure out where the hell those guys are going. And another little perk of the, uh, another little weird quirk, more like, of the, uh, Wild Wasteland perk. See this little body here? Stuck in a fridge with a suave gambler hat. This is actually a reference to Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, where Indiana Jones uh, tried to survive a nuclear bomb inside a fridge. Now, from what I recall, a teacher uh, way back when actually informed me that old fridges were made of lead, so it was theoretically possible to survive in a fridge. However, it was not confirmed as a foolproof way to survive it. So, you know... Take it as you will. Now, I don't honestly like the look too much. Mainly because it is very brown. <laughs> and compared to the other one, which is a very darker brown. That can pass for black. Uh, I just don't I just don't like it as much. But for this playthrough, we'll wear it. At least until we get the uh, dapper gambler hat uh, at the casinos. So, you know, that is how that is. Now, if I remember... Um, I'm probably going to want to put that on. Ah, I forgot. I haven't put on the disguise stuff yet. You have equipped Faction Armor. Faction Armor disguises you as a member of that faction. Members of that faction now consider you a friend, while enemies of that faction will attack you on sight, regardless of your personal faction relation with them. Any reputation changes that occur while wearing Faction Armor still affect your character. Security personnel such as guards and watchdogs will still th see through your disguise and alert anyone nearby, so watch out. Now dressed as a powder ganger. Yeah. Because, if I remember right, there's a couple of them hiding right behind the shack here. Oh, several locations, just basically telling you how to fast travel. Like it did in Skyrim way back when. Okay, now there's Sunset, Sarsaparilla, Star, Bottle Cap, and the key, which opens this locker. And gives me a whole bunch of usually good stuff. Not this time, I guess. Um, silence 22 pistol. Uh, it's usually not what I use. But I'll take it this time. The Merc Adventure outfit, which is usually pretty good if you're basing it on stats rather than actual armor. But I, I just don't. I don't do that. It's not what I like. There's that. I actually found that a couple playthroughs ago and realized I was so dumb for not noticing it earlier. Now, just to show you the strength of the disguise, there's th these guys here. And I can just walk up. Never talk to gets them. old when something blows up. That is true. Uh, there's the other guy. And. Uh, show what it can let you do. It gives you an opportunity to be a psychotic motherfucker. Whoop. I just missed. <laughs> I'm already vilified. What are you doing? Aha! There we go. Took off your arm. Although I meant for your head, but hey, that works too. And I don't pick up the cases for 9mm, mainly because later on I'll be 
breaking down my nine millimeters for the, uh, well, a lot of the stuff uh, for other pistols and whatnot. Mm, what is it? Uh, 357s and, you know, that those sort of things. So I would not normally be uh, using the 9 millimeter if, you know, not for its quick and easy availability. Let's reload. There we go. Later on, you'll end up uh, having a bunch of 357 ammo that you'll have nothing to do with other than blow people's heads off. Although with, in hardcore mode, it'll be a little more difficult, seeing as it's also extra weight you carry. So, you know, it, it's it's a boon and a curse at the same time. Oh, usually that has something. What the hell? Um, I think there's another one here. Uh, we were relaxed where. Uh. And again, pre war relaxed wear. At least they're not dirty. There's that. And there's a little camp of them here. And I'm just actually going to work on my aim a little bit. As it's been a while since I did all of this. And nope, can't hit them. There's no viewpoint right now. Let's go this way. Am I able to get at them now? No? There you are. There! That's it! Shot you down. Yep. And he's walking around. Where is he? There he is. And down it goes. Awesome sauce. That actually worked out far better than I planned, but it's not over yet. Now, if I remember correctly, there's... Oh, they're hidden. Good. I forget where they are. There's a couple charges that'll explode should you not be able to get to them on time and shut them off. Don't honestly remember where they are. I think they're over there. Um... Yeah, I'll take. <laughs> he was shooting at me with a shotgun? Really? Jesus, Hubert Christ. No wonder he couldn't hit shit. Alright, there's one right here. Now, these are powder charges. That'll, if you don't disarm them quick, they will blow up in your face and kill you dead. So, you know, be quick. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You want to spam the button? Spam the button. It will keep you alive. There we go. That was close. Woo! I nearly died from that. I know there's another one over here. Don't know where it is. And I don't want to lose uh, limb status if I can avoid it. Oh, there you are. You're over here. There we go. All right. Now, it says you'll lose karma, but that's mainly because it's stealing from powder gangers. That's really the only reason why. Take those and the varmint rifle, which I can then repair mine with. Ta-da! Alright. Activate campfire. I don't have enough survival to cook my steaks. No! That sucks, because I want to. Okay, that's not going to work out. An armor case. Ball cap with glasses. Blur. That's not what I need. That actually does not have that good of a selling rate, so I don't usually pick them up. Ammunition box. 9mm rounds and 9mm rounds. Not all I wanted, but they will work for now. And... Oh, there's a note. I forgot about that. The note reads, not many patrols out here lately, which means not much loot. Our crew is thinking we should make a move soon. 
Follow the tracks up north. Head towards the strip. You in? Ain't on the chain gang anymore, but we still gotta stick together. Yeah, that's a way to do it, I guess. It's not gonna work out for them, I can guarantee. Tea, but, you know. Cabinet. Ooh, a lot of booze. Scotch, whiskey. I don't like beer, mainly because... Yeah. <clears throat> so I don't bother picking it up. <clears throat> Hard liquor for me. That's that's how you go. That's how you motherfucking do it. Now I think there's one more over here. Or did I pick them all up? Um, I think I did pick them all up. All right. Cool beans. <clears throat> Whoop! Fuck me. I guess I was wrong, but that actually didn't damage me, so... Alright. That is lucky as balls. Fucking hot as dicks. Let's go. It slows you down a bit having a two-handed weapon out, but it also gives you the opportunity to more quickly engage and eliminate targets. That's a gecko. Oh, that also has radiation. What the? That's unusual. Oh, call her good. Fuck it. I'll skin off my back. I'm not hunting geckos right now. Oh, yeah. That's all over the place there. That entire spot. Detected. Oh, shit came back. Now, I'm going to go for torso head shot just to see if I can damage it all. I did manage to hit the head, which is weird. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a pistol. Are you just going to run away or... Okay. Off with your head. <laughs> Reload, because during the cutscene I can. And gecko meat. Uh, I would have liked to hide. Oh well. When you get your survival skill high enough, you can tan the hides, and that's even more value for, you know, the weight. Which is why, for hardcore, it's probably best to bring up your uh, survival skill quickly, or at least try to. Um, yep, that's what I thought. I'm gonna let the out a little bit and bang. Patience is a virtue. Rad roaches, the ick. Geckos, that's where it's at. All right, continuing on. Um, what is that? I can't actually see that blip, so curious what it actually is. Bloat flies, not worth my time. Or my ammo, for that matter, either. Now, uh, here is Prim. You can see the big roller coaster there. So, you know, that's proof positive that we have reached the destination. Let's continue on. Hey. Hey, dude. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. By whose authority? Oh, NCR trooper. By NCR's authority. What's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. Holy shit. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Now I can take care of myself. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. Well, <laughs> that's professional. All right. Well, I was warned. Thank you for that. But, uh, I'm pretty sure I can kill all these motherfuckers. I'm going to steal their ammo since they're clearly not using it. Okay. Ooh, some 357 rounds. Cool. Oh, how's my sleeping at? How, how badly do I need sleep? 
not that bad. Food is more of a concern. So, I will... Let's see. What food is there that'll do both water somewhat and food? Maze will do. Maze will definitely do. Actually, I'll have another one, too. While I'm at it. And nothing up there. All right. Moving right along. Oop. And... Oh, yeah. There's a way to get up there. Get that little ways. Yep. Come on. There we go. I could have just gone that way. I'm a doof. Big frigging doof. Okay. Those. I could always use 10 millimeter rounds until I can move up to the 44. And by then I'll be using it in a uh, trail carbine anyway. So there's that. Okay, sir. Oh yeah, there's the little ammo storage up here. 308? There's a sniper rifle around here. Five millimeter rounds. That's for a uh, machine gun, I believe. And yeah, no one's over there. No one I can. <laughs> I've never seen that happen. Just loading, in. loading in. God damn. You'd swear I'm drunk, but I'm not. I'm just fucking sleepy as all hell. Okay, that's not the pistol I wanted. I wanted this one. There we go. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Used to different controls at this point. Um, go in here, because there's no one in here. And take the armor and stuff within. The trooper helmet, which is actually a good head helmet, and the NCR mantle armor. And I'm over encumbered. Great! It's actually good to sell later, if anything, because it disguises you as an NCR, and, you know, it's not always good to be disguised like that. Um, trooper helmet, because I prefer having goggles above the head than on my face. that and use that and I could sell that I know I'm over encumbered shut the hell up uh, see what I can actually drop and not waste a lot of money in the process um, not a lot actually um, I could repair that with that but I'm not damaged enough for that. Um, I could just hoof it to the spot I can next sell it and do that. That would be not as doable. Holy shit, this is so slow. Okay, let's crouch down and take that. Don't need someone sneaking in and going, hey! Stop doing that and just shoot me in the face. I mean, they wouldn't succeed, but still. Uh, so slow. Okay, let's talk to these people. Oh, you. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. Impressive. What's your business? Not really. What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. Ah. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Yeah, I know how that goes. Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Really? A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. 
and I've been ransacking the area since then. Damn. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got out way to do it. faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seem to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Fair enough. Uh, that's it for now. Goodbye. 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 All right. God, this is so slow, but I want the armor to sell. I can sell it to someone inside Prim really quickly when I get Hello. in there. Hello. How you doing, Sergeant McGee? <laughs> McGee. Ah, oh, man, so slow. This is going to take forever, so we're actually going to do it in a different episode, because <laughs> we've already hit time limit. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, click the subscribe button if you want to watch more videos from me and listen to my illustrious voice. Click the like button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and, you know, share it around, comment, you know, give me something. Come on, I want to talk to you people and be able to reach more people. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about that. I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, signing off.